Well, Kemi Bednock is holding her first full shadow cabinet meeting this morning, uh, four days after she was installed as the new leader of the Conservative Party. Uh, she uh, has appointed as her shadow chancellor Mel Stride, one of her leadership rivals. Uh, she's also appointed Robert Jemrick, uh, her leadership rival in the final two, uh, as the shadow secretary of state for justice. Uh, and Priti Patel, another leadership contender who dropped out early on uh, in the contest, she's been appointed shadow foreign secretary. Other names that you may uh, recognise in uh, the new Conservative shadow team, uh, Chris Philp is the new shadow home secretary. Uh, Laura Trott has been appointed uh, the shadow secretary of state for education. Uh, and Victoria Atkins, uh, uh, who was previously the health secretary, she's been appointed uh, the shadow DEFRA minister. Now, I think what's quite interesting about the Shadow Cabinet is the names that aren't on the list. People like James Cleverly, uh, for example. Soella Braverman, uh, she's also not part of this Shadow team. Tom Tugendhat, another leadership contender, he's not part of this uh, Shadow Cabinet. And I, I think it's quite interesting that so many senior Conservative MPs, the ones who are left, have decided to stay on the back benches. And that may be uh, because it's been quite a turbulent few years. They may want a, uh, a little bit of rest uh, after quite a, a difficult time towards the end uh, of the Conservative time in office. Or it may be uh, because they aren't convinced that they can serve under Kemi Badenoch's leadership. And certainly uh, ahead of that leadership results, uh, at the weekend, there were a few Conservative MPs I was speaking to who said they weren't impressed with either Kemi Badenoch or Robert Jemrick, and they thought that this leadership contest would happen all over again before we get to the next general election. So, look, it, it is a new generation, somewhat, of Conservative MPs uh, now sitting on the front bench in the Shadow Cabinet, and they will have to spend the next few years trying to establish themselves in Parliament and trying to convince the public uh, that their party is worthy of returning to government.